Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, video. Go to have a look at the weather for the day to 14 days for today's uh, video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of February. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us into the second half of February. And I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was 6 a.m. upload. And we've also released the full spring update. So please check out those two videos. If you'd like to, that like, share, and subscribe on the vid. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that for us. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely Sunday. It's quite a nice day today, uh, isn't it? So, uh, you know, nice and bright. So, I hope you're having a nice uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, right, let's crack on there. Oh, just to say that um, we need to put around 47, 48 subscribers now to get to 15.5k, so under 15. Uh, now uh, to get to uh, to get to uh, uh, fifteen point five k, you could give us a sub. It'd be absolutely fantastic. And tell friends and fans to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, but doing that, right? Let's crack on then. So we're going to start off with the temperature at ten HP eight and stratosphere over the North Pole. So uh, we have currently uh, we're currently at minus thirty. So that's where we was yesterday. So warming has leveled off over the past twenty four hours. We've got to minus thirteen. And uh, that's where uh, we're sticking. Well above average, of course, now. The grey line is the trend line, so we're uh, way above average with temperature 10 HPA. Um, I think I could go up a little bit more as well. I think that could get to, uh, to minus 20 in uh, the next uh, day or so. We'll uh, wait and see about that, but I think that will go up uh, a little bit more. So um, quite a significant warming of the strategy at 10 HP, although still classified as a minor warming due to that it isn't going to reverse the zone of wind or uh, split the PV. Go a little bit lower down to 30 HPA, uh, closer to the troposphere. There you can see we're edging closer uh, to minus 50. Um, now, again, though, I think the warming has uh, levelled off a little bit over the past 24 hours. So we have a bit of a pause on this warming, but I think it is going it is going to uh, increase again the te at temperature uh, to 10 and 30 HP over the, um, you know, over the next uh, couple of days. So warming is continuing at its core over Siberia. This would be this be midnight GFS temperature forecast with 10 HPA. You see over the pole, the temperature is around minus um, 30. Something like that confirms that, doesn't it? So uh, over the uh, next few days, we're going to see temperature potentially going up to around minus uh, 25, something like that. I think over the top of the pole as this uh, warming sort of infiltrates in. That'll probably be later on uh, next week. So um, probably maxing out somewhere around minus 25 or 4, minus 25, something like that. Um, displacement event of a polar vortex. We've been talking about this over the past uh, week or two. Not a split of a PV. But, um, we're not reversing uh, the zone of either displacing the PV out of the pole and into northern Europe and into the North Atlantic as well. Uh, and then running through right at the very end of this GFS midnight road, it looks like another warming is starting to get going over Siberia. That's up to the 14th of February. That's a long way out, uh, of course. So maybe we'll get another bite at the cherry with, uh, you know, <laughs> stratospheric warming later on in the month. I think most people have <laughs> had enough of it now. You know, been talking about this for uh, weeks and weeks. But, um... Yeah, we have to keep monitoring it. If, if it's still showing up, but we get another warming later on in February, then um, obviously it's important to to, to uh, keep monitoring that. So our GFS 6Z is looking again. We've got the core of warm over Siberia. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, the warming continues over the uh, next few days as well, gradually fading away in around a week's time or so if these blue colours of cold temperature begin to edge back um, towards the uh, North Pole. Again, the uh, displacement event continues in the extended range and no uh, warming around the, or no particular warming around the 14th of February on the GFS 6 uh, Zone of wind forecast looks like this. So uh, we have weakened the zone of wind at 10 HPM strategy quite a bit, you know, uh, gone from there to, uh, to, to there. Um, you know, uh, we have weakened, but not reverse zone wind. So reverse zone wind would have to have gone down to this uh, dead line just here. Now the zone wind is going to start bouncing back over the next week or so. But quite a few of the GFS ensembles are now starting to uh, weaken the zone wind again around the middle part. Of That's probably happening by some secondary warming. So uh, we'll have to wait and see 
where that's going. Um, and obviously we will keep monitoring, we will keep you posted about all of these uh, developments stratosphere-wise. Central temperature has ticked down another tenth of a degree. We're now down to 5.0, which is 1.2 degrees above average. That's provisional to the 28th of uh, January, yesterday. Um, that probably lift up for, for the final couple of days of the month. Um, I think, you know, it might tick up a little bit. Um, no, we'll wait and see about that. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks uh, for Cardiff. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. Starting off close to or a little bit above average at the moment. We're going to go uh, rather below average for a while around the middle part of next week, just for a day or so at the beginning of February and Wednesday. And then uh, lifting the upper air temperatures up again through the, uh, through the last part of next week and next weekend. Could be very mild, actually, under a, an area of high pressure. But do, do have to watch out for a bit of frost and fog and that. Uh, into a second week of February, we've got a lot of scatter here. So we've got these milder ensemble members up there. We've also got colder ensemble members down there. So we have to wait and see where things go into the second week of February. Uh, Precipitation-wise, loads of dry weather. Um, over the next week to 10 days and then turning more unsettled perhaps for the second week of February. But again, that's where we've got all the scatter. So obviously there's quite a bit of uncertainty uh, in relation to that second week of February. Temperature anomalies on the 29th of January 6th of February are going to be milder than average. Precipitation anomalies on the 29th of January 6th of February are going to be driving north, away from northwest of Scott where it is turning a little bit more unsettled. Blaze with a map from Earth, nonschool.net. Looks like that. We're bringing in a west southwesterly today. So, um, relatively mild and, uh, you know, quite quite pleasant. But uh, we are bringing some strong winds into the north. So it's only a bit wet and windy over across Scott. But for England and Wales and Ireland, not too bad a day today. Right, this is how uh, the UK Met Euro run. It's looking a bit like on Wednesday. So quite a coldish sort of northwesterly. And quite strong winds as well on Wednesday. Could bring some gales into the north. Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You see these high pressure ridging up from the southwest, turning things uh, drier. And also very mild, pulling wind up from quite a long way southwest. In the north, it will be a little bit cooler at times as the wind stays from the northwest there. But otherwise, I think... Looking at quite a dry and uh, mild weekend next weekend. Uh, Icon looks like that again. We've got uh, a windy and quite chilly day to come on uh, Wednesday with northwest winds and high pressure reaches up from the southwest through Thursday, Friday into the weekend. This area of high pressure will uh, take over and uh, turn us mostly dry, but it will be uh, mild under that area of high pressure. Although if it's like uh, uh, fog, which is most likely down in the south with this, I would have thought, it's like getting fog. Then obviously that will limit the temperature potential uh, quite a bit. But it is technically a very mild bridge as it's building up from the south. GFS Midnight Run again has us in this uh, chilly and showery northwest wind on Wednesday. And then high pressure ridging up from the south into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Bringing lots of dry and uh, mild weather with it into the beginning of the uh, following week. So it's Monday 6th of February, high pressure in, slightly over to the east of coast. That might start to put some cooler air in from off the continent. But again, it is technically still uh, a very mild uh, ridge that we have there. And then high pressure continues to rule the roost, really, as we're moving towards uh, the second week of um of uh, February, this is the 9th of February, so we're beyond day 10. Um, but high pressure still in control down south, a little bit more unsettled in the north. And uh, that's how we finish up with the GFS Midnight Run. Flat as a pancake and uh, starting to bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic. The GFS 6 then, again, with winds in from uh, the northwest on Wednesday, so a, a coolish uh, type down Wednesday. And high pressure builds up from the south at the end of week into weekend, brings a lot of dry weather with it. Um, and uh, will be, you know, potentially turning a little bit colder, although it's a mild bridge, but it will potentially turn a little bit colder down south if we start getting some fog and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, uh, high pressure then slips away to the east as low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic and we start to turn unsettled or try to turn unsettled, but high pressure never far away, even to the 14th of February, high pressure still bare or bare about, especially the more southern and east areas in the far north and northwest, a little bit more unsettled there. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, is uh, looking rather flat on Wednesday, rather chilly, showery up in the north, and then high pressure builds up from the south as we go through. We
weekend into next week. Bring a lot of dry weather into south in the north will be a little bit more unsettled. It will be very mild as well. Up to day 10, high pressure sitting over to the east country, lower pressure out to the Atlantic, trying to edge in. Um, but, you know, high pressure there or thereabouts, right way up to day 10. And then the ECM at WF, again, rather cold and showery with northwest winds on Wednesday. Then high pressure builds up from the south through Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Bring a lot of dry weather. There could be fog under that area of high pressure, especially so down in the south. And then by day 10, the high pressure jumping to slip a little bit to the east. But saying, you know, um, quite, quite dominant with that area of high pressure all the way up to day 10 and there could be further fog in with that especially so down in the south so i'm trying to get the point across it's a little bit uh complicated but this is a mild ridge but um due to the position especially as we go further and further on with this due to the position as you have to you confirm that it is a mild ridge of high pressure very much so but you know as we go further and further on with this if the high pressure slips east was then we might start generating some fog and that will begin to pull the temperature down a little bit so uh, we just need to watch you know what's happening within the high pressure between around uh days sort of seven eight nine ten um this is a precipitation forecast based on that ecm run from tometio.com showery in the north um today some wet and windy weather up there otherwise mostly dry and uh, then we go into uh, the middle of next week and we have further showing this up in the north mostly dry down in the south high pressure just takes over really as we get um uh, you know into the weekend and on into next week so a lot of dry weather away from northern and western scotland it is a little bit difficult to uh find something of interest to talk about at the moment i have to say um you know let's hope this pattern moves on uh, by the middle of February. Uh, right, uh, these are the ups on the table. Then the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from ECMWF.int gets us to the 8th of February. 22 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure dominating across the country will bring a lot of dry where with that could be a little bit of frost and fog. Um, as you saw in the south and the east, we've got 15 members of the ECM ensembles a lot flatter, more like what the GFS is doing, I suppose, with the high pressure south low pressure to the north and bring wind in from off the Atlantic that's going to be mild wet windy in the north and then we've got um number 14 just here again with low pressure in from the Atlantic bringing um quite a bit of unsettled weather and that's quite deep low pressure in the Atlantic as well so that looks quite wet and windy uh right we've also got um 14 members of the ECM on top of here, hang on, what do we do with this? So, uh, yeah, so we got no, that's uh, for day uh, 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 13th of February. 14 members of the ECL ensemble still flat with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and bring wind in from off the Atlantic, rather like that. Wet wind in the north in particular. Uh, we've got uh, 13 just here, but a more anti cyclonic, high pressure over to the east of the country would suggest a little bit of frost and fog. Um, we've got 11 with the uh, high pressure towards Germany, uh, low pressure out to the Atlantic. Um, well, again, that could be frost and fog type pattern, bringing in the wind from off the continent. We have got uh, eight here with proper northern blocking. Look at this, high pressure uh, over and to the north of Scandinavia will be bringing in the wind properly from an easterly uh, direction there. Quite interesting. And uh, then we've got five that are uh, very unsettled with a deep drop of low pressure over the UK and Western Europe. That brings lots of unsettled weather with it. So um, probably quite cool with that as well as the jet stream is to our south. The jet stream is down there somewhere. So quite cold and unsettled with that option. So a range of options really um, in, uh, in two weeks time in particular. Um, I might tell a little bit colder then but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's a low probability, I think, at the moment. Um, okay, so finally, a CFSB2. These are 500 millibar high tolerance, breaking down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer takes us from the 29th of January to the 4th of February. Um, so the coming week will have high pressure over sight to the west of the country. Low pressure will be to the north. A lot, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of dry weather uh, with that, um, and pretty mild as well. Uh, going through the week two, which is the 5th to the 11th of February, high pressure then is towards Germany and Denmark. So, still anti cyclone, it could be a little bit colder, might bring in from off the continent, could be a little bit of frost, fog, and whatnot. 
uh, what not? <laughs> there we go, really week three, which is the 12th to the 18th of February, high pressure. Uh, Sitting a little bit further eastwards, allowing lower pressure in the Atlantic to get slightly closer. Um, now that probably turns milder, but will take much of an adjustment, still bring in wing from off the continent. Very fine margins with this pattern between being, you know, really mild, but also uh, the chance of frost and fog. Uh, and then week four is the 19th to 25th of February, and now the high pressure is centred more towards the Alps with low pressure out of the Atlantic. That is uh, a properly west south westy type pattern and should be very mild. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that uh, for us. Right, that's it for today's vid. Just to tell you what's coming up tomorrow. I'm going to start at 6 a.m. upload. We'll have a 10 to 14 day. And we're going to be live streaming at 8 p.m. We'll live stream on Sunday's Watch. And we'll name the dog <laughs> on the uh, live stream tomorrow so i shall see you uh for that when you enjoy the rest of your uh sunday afternoon and for this one that's all for now and thanks so much <laughs>